Well, gang, pretty exciting day today. Uh, it is the first day that we're going to start uh, officially working on this Juratec build. Uh, so I'm going to drive the old truck into the garage, start prepping that for the engine removal, and uh, we'll see wh where we get today. Obviously, no goals specifically for today other than to get the truck in the, uh, the garage and uh, just start prepping it. So uh, away we go. So I just picked up three quick coffees, uh, one for my dad, probably one for my brother and myself and then I uh, actually just got notice that my dad's over at these uh, couple of new houses that we're building. So uh, going to do a quick stop off over at those houses and then uh, continue on up to the garage. Well guys, we're building these two houses on East Sandwich Road here, just outside of Victoria. So I thought I'd uh, stop by, show you guys a quick little glimpse of the houses. I dropped those coffees off and I'm going to continue on up to the uh, garage to get some work done. Well guys, uh, up at the garage now, about to start work on prepping this Ford Ranger, the 2.3 Duratec, for the build that I'm going to be doing on the engine. So it is about to have a little bit of open heart surgery. The truck, as you can sort of see it, sitting out there behind me. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, start it up, warm it up a little bit, bring it inside, drain it of fluids, and uh, basically start pulling apart the, uh, the engine. So start uh, disconnecting all the electrics, fuel lines. Um, and then uh, some of the hard and, and fast fastening, so engine mounts, things like that, in preparation to extract that engine. Anyway, here we go. So I just uh, gave it a bit of a hose down. There she is. Truck, the uh, back was pretty, pretty dirty. And uh, what I'm not uh, excited about is, because it's been sitting outside for a while, the interior has some mold. Luckily, I'm not going to be on the uh, inside of this truck very much, mostly on the obviously engine bay. But um, yeah, mold. Uh, let's just get that focused. Mold doesn't uh, excite me too much. Kind of want to stay well clear of that. So I think I'll give it a good douse of uh, some um, mold killer. I'll leave it overnight or a few days before I attempt to do anything on the interior of that, uh, that truck. All right, gang, well, the truck is in the garage now. Um, we will start to uh, pull uh, things off the engine, basically. Start to prep it for uh, the extraction of that engine. The, uh, the main thing to start off with that I'm gonna do is uh, start pulling off, uh, carefully, obviously, electrical connections, um, drain fluids first, but obviously electrical connections, uh, fuel lines, and then, um, start taking off the hard mounts, but uh, we'll start draining some fluids. Let's get going.
All right, so fluids draining, uh, and it's now time to attack the top of the engine. So I've got uh, oil draining out, water draining out. Uh, we're gonna start disconnecting uh, some of these hoses, and uh, we're gonna start disconnecting some of the electricals. Uh, I'm gonna start up at the top just because I like to start where it's easiest first and then work our way down. Well, I'm going to try and save as many of the hoses as possible. Not that I will necessarily reuse them, but uh, they are all actually in pretty decent shape. And uh, sometimes it's easier to cut and modify an existing hose and try and source a new one. So I'm going to keep them all until uh, the job's done, uh, as well as all the electric sensors, things like that. So let's continue on through here. Start pulling this all apart. All right, guys, I'm uh, quite excited. It was a good day. I didn't film all of it, but um, we got lots of work done. If you have a look behind me here on the, uh, the old truck engine there, it has been sort of stripped down quite a lot. And there you go. So manifold is off, the uh, radiator cowl is off, a whole bunch of hoses for both water, fuel, and, and then a lot of electrical lines separated. So we're getting there, which is great. So we're, uh, we're on top of things. There's a couple of big piles of parts behind me here. As you can see on the floor there. So right there we go. So a big pile of parts, which is great. Um, I'd say at least another half a day of me stripping this thing uh, down. And then uh, we'll get on to the hard unbolting. So we'll be uh, then unbolting the actual engine, transmission, driveline components, uh, and then pulling the thing out. So not too, too far away from pulling it out. And then obviously once it's out, we'll start stripping it down. That's basically it for today, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And I'd uh, love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks again, and uh, please follow along with this build. Thanks, have a good one.